Hi, I'm Risa Shepard, the creator and founder of the Shepard Method Pilates, and I'm so happy to be here with a benefit for Wags and Walks, and I encourage you to donate whatever you can because they're a wonderful organization, and if you're a dog lover, as I am, as I'm sure you are, we really want to enhance their lives as best as we can. So please give to Wags and Walks. In the meantime, enjoy my session that I'm about to do. It'll be a very light session with some good stretching. And um, just follow along. You, I want to do some nice breaths. You inhale, lift the arms above the head. And exhale, press down. And just take a moment, get centered with you in your body. Inhale and exhale down. Now what you want, you want the soles of the feet together and the knees open. If that position is hard for you, you can just simply cross your legs. But for now, I'd like to have the feet open about in a diamond position, okay? And again, we inhale and exhale. Let's do some head and shoulder stretches. I know everybody's a little tense these days and we tend to put it in our neck, so lift up and exhale down and lift up and exhale down and lift up and exhale down and take your right hand up take it around to your ear gently stretch it feel a nice stretch between the ear and the shoulder and hold Good eight counts, just feel the neck relaxing. Take the neck a little down, a little down, a sort of three quarter inch. Breathe. Okay, take it to the chin to the chest again, and then to the side. We're gonna do the other side over. Just hold on to the ear, but you're going to again, drop the opposite, the shoulder as much as you can. Good, and then take it down a little bit, stretch. Good, up, and release. We're gonna do half circles with the neck, circle one, and down, and two, and down. Just feel, go within to your body and feel your body moving, and once more up and take those shoulders take their shoulders up all the time so what you want to do is make sure they're nice and pressed to the floor and breathe breathing is a very important component of life and reverse and a lot of us don't breathe properly so we really want to learn proper breathing helps with our energy our stamina seven and eight okay now i want you to lift the heels they're a little higher than the toes we're in a diamond position you're going to contract the abdominals, meaning you're going to pull it into the spine as you roll down. Just go back to the tailbone and lift up. Inhale and then exhale down. And inhale up. And exhale down. And inhale up. And exhale down. And and inhale up take the right hand down and reach over and stretch make sure the stretch is coming from the waist so you're just not pulling the arm you're lengthening you're trying to go way out beyond the fingers keep the hip to the floor don't let the hip come up particularly because what you want to do is really stretch between the armpit and the hip now lift the side of the body lift up and we'll go to the other side and stretch and again it's like you're lengthening making that arm much taller much longer seven and eight good and up let's have both hands up arms up you're going to turn to the right as much as you can and you're going to take the elbow down to the middle of the body the fingers towards the heels lift up and front don't worry about how far you twist. You just twist as much as you can. Feel the stretch. Lower down and lift 
and front and turn and down and lift and front and turn and down and lift and let's do one more time and turn keep the chest high drop lift and front and one more time turn and drop and lift and front good let's take the knees together open up the knees a little bit you're going to slowly roll down until you come all the way down to the floor and you're going to put your head down inhale you're going to place your knees into the chest and exhale just think of pressing those knees and the calves into the floor like we're on a cloud and inhale and exhale and one more inhale and exhale good now take your hands by the side let's take the hip the toes are touching the floor and just turn the knees to the right and turn your head to the left good this is always a really nice relaxing stretch hold it for a few seconds good and bring the knees in and switch to the other side and lengthen Good, and center again. Lift the legs straight up in the air or as straight as you can. Pull the belly, the most important part is to think of your body center, which is um, the lower abdominals down to the lower back. You flex the feet and point. Flex and point. If you're having trouble keeping the legs up, place the hands just slightly behind the feet. Okay, good, and put the feet down, bring yourself up again. We're gonna have our guest from Wags and Walks oh, join okay. us now. Was the visual okay? That was good, I think. Oops. Hey, Hi, hey. Oh, she's on right Hi. now. Oh, okay. Hi guys, I hope you guys are enjoying your workouts. Miss Amelia here could use a workout herself. Um, my name is Chloe, and I am tuning in from Wax and Walks Dog Rescue here in Los Angeles with adoptable Amelia, who is searching for treats <laughs> right now. Um, if you haven't heard of us, Wax and Walks is a 501c3 dog rescue based in Los Angeles and Nashville. Um, we're dedicated to saving dogs of all breeds, ages, and sizes. Um, and finding them their forever homes. <laughs> Thanks, Amelia. <laughs> she's very excited right now, and I just gave her a treat, so all she's doing is kissing me, trying to find more treats. <laughs> Amelia, sit still. Um, Miss Amelia here is looking for her forever home. Come here. Come up here. Show the people how cute you are. Come up, Amelia. <laughs> come up, come up. There you go. Everyone wants to see how cute you are. Um, Miss Amelia here is looking for her for her forever home. She is a five and a half year old, 60 pound pity potato girl. Um, she is the sweetest thing in the world. She clearly <laughs> loves to give kisses and cuddle um, and just like can't get close enough to her people. Um, she would do best in a home that can provide her with all this. I mean, come on. She's a ham. She's handed it up for you guys. Um, provide her with lots of love. Um, and a, definitely a comfy couch for her to curl up on. She would be great <laughs> for um, Netflix binging, cuddling up during the cold. Come up here, girl, come here. But she can also keep up on long walks and hikes. And again, can definitely use some extra exercise. <laughs> come here, sit down, come here. She's been through a full training program, so she's mastered her commands. She's not showing them off very well right now, um, but she's eager to please. Um, and she's crate trained, potty trained, all that good stuff. Come on, here, Amelia. Come on up. Come on up. Good girl. Good job. <laughs> she's ridiculously cute. Um, <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Chloe. We really yeah, appreciate if you guys are your joining. Interested, interested in supporting dogs like Amelia, um, we are Healthy Spots Roundup Runner this month. So all of your 
rounded up purchases go right back to dogs like Amelia. Uh, and we would be very, very grateful. Um, if you're interested in learning more about Amelia or any other ways to get involved, visit wisemalks.org. And thank you guys so much for your donations and supporting us. Perfect. Thank you so much. Bye. We appreciate it. Bye, Chloe. Bye, Amelia. <laughs> Okay, we're back. I hope you adopt one of those adorable little creatures. I'd adopt them all if I had a nice big farm. But anyway, in the meantime, let's continue by bringing the knees into the chest. And I brought you to bring the legs up into what we call a tabletop. If you can extend the legs all the way up, that's fine. If not, place them here. Now take the hands behind your head. Lift the arms up. Inhale. And then exhale using the abdominals. Reach forward as far as you can. And we're going to do what I call in Pilates. I don't call it. Everybody calls it the 100s. Okay, so you do five inhales and five exhales with beats of the hands. Let's inhale one. Exhale. If your neck it bothers you, put it down. You can certainly put it with your head down. Inhale two. In two. Five, two. I'm going to straighten my legs. If you can, don't do. If you can't, can't see where you are. In two. In two. Should we do up to ten? So let's add one more in. And slowly come. Back. You'll sort of rock your head side to side just in case you had a tendency to put it to your shoulders. Put the feet down on the floor, hands down. You're going to really feel the small of the back press down to the floor as you squeeze the glutes and start to lift, peel off the floor one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, and then as we come down, feel like your vertebrae is a string of pearls and press, 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 press. 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 And again, tilt the pelvis, lift up. Two, three. Literally feel one vertebrae at a time. Keep the buttocks squeezed, the glutes squeeze, roll down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Let's do it one more time. Tilt the pelvis and lift up. Two. And you're here, and then slowly roll it down. Okay, let's turn to the side. And what you're going to do is you're going to think ankle over ankle, knee over knee, hip over hip. But then just shift the feet forward a little bit more. And we lift the leg up. And we're going to take the leg front and point it back. You can place the, one, the right hand behind your head. If you're having trouble balancing, just place your hand right in front of the stomach. And four, we flex the foot forward and sweep it back and flex front and sweep it back and flex. Inhale, exhale, sweep it back. Feel the stretch in the front of the thigh or the quad as you know it. And front and back and front and back. And one more front and back. Nice. This is nice so circles with nice as opposed to not nice. Three, four, five, six. Reverse the circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. And place the foot down. Bend the knees. We're going to do something called the platter. You're going to think there's a whole platter of food, dog food, and you don't want to spill any of it. Otherwise, your dog won't be able to get to it. So you lift up one, touch down, two, lift from the hip, three, four, five, six, seven, we'll do ten, two more, one more, and ten. Good, and release. 
The last one on that set is called the clam. Exactly. You open, think a clam, and then down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and ten. Very nice. Okay, and bring it in. And you're going to sit up and do a nice stretch over length. Stay open almost to the ceiling. You don't want to be closed down. You want to open. And take this leg around the opposite knee. If you need to keep the bottom leg extended, that's fine. We're just going to do a nice spine stretch. As you look back and hold it. And front. Okay. Take the knees in and we'll go to the other side. All right, so let's start with a nice straight body, your ankle over ankle, knee over knee, hip over hip. Now just shift both the legs forward a little bit so you're in a bit in the kind of a wide V stance. Hold the belly in, make sure that there's a rod running through your hips down to the floor. You lift the top leg up. And if you want to bend again, the bottom leg for a little more stability, it's fine. If you want a little more challenge, keep the legs straight. And you're going to take the leg front with a flex, with two little hips, and then point and reach back. And flex front. And point back. And flex front. And point back. And flex front. And point back. And flex front. And back. And front. And don't forget to breathe. It's inhale front. Exhale back. Eight. Reach. Nine. Reach. And two. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six, good, reverse, and one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and bring the knees in. If you need to pat it out a little bit, kind of move the, uh, the muscles around, the lactic acid, particularly that builds up when you're working, and then you'll feel good to go in a second. We're gonna do the platters now. And make sure, again, that it's hip over hip, hand is down in front of your body, and lift the foot up one, or I should say the leg, and down. And two, down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, good. Good job. So we're going to do the, the um, platters now. No, I'm sorry. We just did the platters. We're going to do the clam. And open, think of clam, and then down. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Come on, nine. You can do it. And 10. Oh, yes. All right. Now we come up, take that leg out. And we're just going to do a nice stretch over to it. And four, five, six. Slowly and lengthen out. And let's just take this leg around. If you want to straighten the bottom leg, it's fine. And just turn over to your left and stretch. Okay, good. In front, now we're going to just do some nice arm circles to promote some, again, good-looking arm without the flabby arms that, you know, that we certainly don't want. So let's start first keeping the shoulders down, little circles with the arms. One, two, going backwards. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now make it a little bit bigger. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and now even bigger, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now we're gonna get to reverse it, okay? One, start big first, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and now a little smaller, two, three, four, five, six, feel all your muscles, and then your back as well, now little circles, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight, inhale up, and press it down, okay, take the right hand behind your head, and just reach back, two, three, Six, six, seven, and eight. And other hand and stretch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, placing the hand down. Let's take the legs in front of us. Open, not too wide. We're going to do something called, in Pilates, it's called the saw stretch. It's one of the classic positions. The feet are flexed. If you're having trouble sitting up, you can put like a box under your behind there and you come up a little bit and it's a little bit better, especially you guys that are, tend to be really tight in their hamstrings. Meanwhile, you sit up, shoulders down. What we're gonna do is we're going to turn to the right. You're gonna inhale, two, three, four. Then we're gonna take the little finger and saw off that little toe. Three and four. Four, while the opposite arm is stretched behind you, you want to think like the two arms are almost one, and then come up, okay? Got it? And turn to the other side. Two, three, four. Take your little finger saw off little toe. Two, three, and four. And let's do the other side again. One, and two, three, four, and stretch. Two, three, four, and up, and turn, and two three, four, and stretch, and two, three, four, and up. One more time each way, turn. Every time it's like you're spiraling up, more out of the waist, and reach back, two, and you're sawing it off. And up one more time, and turn, and two, four, and reach, saw, three, and four, and up, and place your hands in front, bend the knees a little bit. We're gonna do what's called the spine stretch. You're going to concentrate on pulling the belly way into the spine. You're gonna walk forward, two, three, four. Feel that spine stretch like it goes out beyond the top of the head and then walk it back and sit up tall. And exhale out, two, three, and four. And walk back, two, Three. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Reach out. Two, three, and four, and back. Six, seven, and eight. All right. Let's shake the legs together. Come over on your stomach. We want to, you know, you are as young as your spine is flexible. At least Joe McCarthy. McCarthy. Oh my God, that's, that was weird. Well, I don't know where I got that. <laughs> that's what Joe Pilates said. And uh, where did that come from? It's the other news I'm watching lately. Anyway, uh, so you place your hands here. Think of pressing the pelvis down. You're going to lift the chest up like you're showing off a beautiful necktie or necklace. And press down. And inhale, lift. And press down. And inhale, lift. And press down. And one more time, up. Nice, okay. Now you're going to come up to all fours. You want your hand under the elbow, your knees under the hips. And I'll turn sideways so we can see here. We want to think like a cat cow, we round straighten and then think of doing a little arch you raise your head and raise your tailbone and then straight and contract under straighten up straighten 
and under. Really like sort of pretend like there's a tail coming out of the tailbone. You want to bite it. Straighten the back and then arch. Okay, and sit back. Put your forehead down. Take the hands behind the back and stretch. Two, three, four. Lift the arms up. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, and sit up. Um, thank you, everybody. This is, a, I, my name is Lisa Shepherd. The name of my business is the Shepherd Method Pilates. If you're interested, I've been teaching, believe it or not, for 145 years. Take out the 100 and just think 45 years. I started in the 70s and I fell in love with the work and I've been doing it ever since. Um, I have a teacher training program if anybody's interested in that or if you want to talk with me. Just check out my website, www.shepherdmethod.com, or send an email to info at shepherdmethod.com. And I'd love to hear your questions and what you thought. And from one animal, though, I'd love for you to meet Polly, but she's sleeping right now. She's 15, and if she wants to sleep during her mother's workout, she can do that. All right? So what I'd like you to do is flex the toes behind you, walk, go back a little bit, and you're going to do what I call four little Fletcher pulses. Little, I'm thinking the butt to the heels. Then take the nose to the knees. Take your hands back a little bit. Straighten the legs and stretch. If you can't, straighten the legs all the way while keeping your hands down. Don't worry. Just stretch to where you can. And let's come down again. And we're going to do little bounces again. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, and nose to the knees and stretch. And bend the knees a little bit. We're going to roll up to a standing position. Seven and eight. Okay, and let's just end with a couple of nice breaths. Inhale and exhale. And inhale. And exhale, and inhale, clasp your hands together, lift, turn to the side, feel again the stretch, make sure you keep the buttocks engaged, and up, and other side, reach, and up, and now think chest up to the ceiling, and front, again, again inhale, and exhale, inhale and exhale and thank you thank you for donating to wags and walks and thank you for joining me in this session and if you have any questions i'd love to hear from you thank you